All right, welcome to my day 73 progression guide. So we did not get a level increase, but I'm thinking we might get one tomorrow. So for today, I recommend that you try to reach level cap. But starting out, you wanna to go to your artificial island, then you wanna go back to build, and then you wanna hit claim, because remember, you can only hold these resources for 24 hours. I also want to mention, don't forget about your common enemies because it looks like we're still on the previous week. So I believe my common enemies will respawn tomorrow, but for others, they might spawn today. So just make sure you check your artificial island. And since we are getting towards the end of the week, you want to make sure you get your weekly items. The ones that I got were clusters. I don't really care about weapon batteries. And since these didn't reset, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the SR Relic Box. Like I said yesterday, unfortunately, these aren't Vera special gifts, so this is completely not worth it. But if you want gold, that's up to you. But besides that, you can do Mia's Kitchen, and then you want to knock out your bounties. But remember, you're able to choose which area you want to do your bounties in. So if you haven't had time to explore Vera, you might want to do Espera. But if you're going to be exploring Vera anyway, you might as well go ahead and accept that one. Next, we got Vitality, starting with Joint Operations. So for today, we got access to Bracers, Chest, a Huma, and a Samir Matrix. So this is a pretty good joint operation. But as I said in my previous video, I'm mainly going to be focusing on getting weapon materials because we might be getting a level increase soon. And I'm also going to be rolling for Saki Fua and Lin. So I'm going to need quite a bit. On top of that, I want to focus most of my time doing the joint operations at level 75. So I feel if I get weapon materials now, it's just going to save me from having to do it in the future. Next, I want to talk about interstellar exploration. And now that we have two zones, there's going to be two sets of stargates to check. Now, I recommend that you probably do level two stargates and above. Unfortunately, I still haven't gotten any level three stargates, but this is currently what a level two stargate looks like. So what I noticed so far is that if there's two weapon batteries right here on the blue category, it's a level two. So I'm assuming maybe a level three is like four weapon batteries or maybe three. But once I get one, I'll let you guys know. But remember, to activate the stargates in each area, you need to hit interstellar exploration in those area. So I had to teleport to Vera to activate the Vera stargates, or if you're in Vera, you need to teleport to Aspera to activate those stargates. And as you see, I have a level two stargate right here. So you wanna make sure you check. But if you don't got any level three or level two stargates, then you can do dimensional trials. And if you need money, you could always do space time domains. But you also could consider doing Omnium Beacons because if you get a gold Omnium Beacon, that could be better than a level three star game if you want to gamble. Then you have your optional things you can do. So starting out, you can do the black market, see this island for the claw machine and your trainings. And again, the reason why these are kind of optional is because 2.0 characters only get one tenth of the experience from the gifts. So if you already leveled up all of your 1.0 characters that you wanted to do, are they all fully leveled up? There really is no reason to do these three things anymore. But there is something that you want to do daily, and that is the Meoria Fun Zone. There are six machines that reset daily, and the top prize is 20 coins that you can use in the Gachapon machines. And you do want to kind of clear those out because that's a lot of really free and powerful resources on top of rolls. So it's good to do this every day. I'll come out with the video later on trying to discuss the strategy that's best to do this. So there's two in the Oasis Club. There's two down here in the middle section. And then the last two are down in the bottom section down here. In case you didn't know, we also got two codes that we can redeem so that we can get some rewards. First one, Gift Vera. And this one is the second code. So it looks like we got a black nucleus and we got 150 dark crystals and for some reason an Aspera special gift. But I also wanted to point out that today we should have received our compensation for the bugs that happened yesterday. So I got 100 dark crystals here and I got a gold nucleus here. But if some of those other bugs affected you, you're probably going to get a couple more dark crystals than me. Then let's just call this the correction slash helpful hint section. So there's a couple comments on my videos yesterday that I believe deserve some attention. So starting out with Rustic Call, I did a Vera exploration guide yesterday and he mentioned that you can use the invisibility cloak to approach the Sentinel. So it's going to be much easier to get the rewards. Mobox mentioned about the space-time fragments to where I had 14. I thought I got that from the raid boss. It turns out I did an achievement and I only got four from the raid boss. 
and Okapa brought up a good point. Spending 2,500 gold dust for an Omnium Crystal when most people are nowhere near an 8.1 suppressor just doesn't really make much sense, so I have to agree with them. If you enjoyed these daily guys, I would greatly appreciate a like so that way it can spread more on YouTube. Then we have the weekly tab. You want to make sure you're doing enough things down here so that way you can get everything up top. Which brings us to our challenges. Now, if you're trying to do something like the Bygone Phantasm or Frontier Clash, you might want to save your Mia's Kitchen so that way you can power yourself up. So starting with the Bygone Phantasm. So again, I recommend that you do the sequential first and then if you get a good score, then you can do the Bygone Phantasm. But you might want to try to at least get to 72 so that way you're at full power. And as you see, it's going to be a rough week for me. We already have someone who's at 376 and the next one is 354. But who knows? Maybe I can take that third place and the person in second place just has a terrible sequential team. Frontier Clash. Now again, I just recommend that you wait till Saturday and then you just choose all three attempts and knock it out in one attempt. Void Riz. We should have got another charge today so you might want to just go ahead and knock that out and just do all your attempts. Or you could consider saving it if you're close to reaching level cap because we might get that increase this weekend. Wormhole, we have three days left to complete this and you want to make sure you do that so that we can get that energy crystal dust. Raise, now you want to try to save at least two attempts this week because we might be getting a level increase and if we do, we're going to be able to do the heroic mode once we reach level 73 and we'll be able to do this battle test arena as well. And Apex League, if you're trying to reach Grand Marshal, you might want to put a couple hours in each day. Then we have our daily buys, so you want to go to shop, hot, then buy your two Vitality Solutions. Now again, this is only if you can afford it. Then we got the commissary starting with the crystal dust store. So you want to make sure you buy your advancement modules and your booster modules for the week. Then I recommend that you buy the Vera special gift. I already talked about the potent Omnium crystal. I just don't feel that it's worth because most people are not going to get to that 8.1 suppressor anytime soon. Then we have the space time store. And as Mobox said, I already had four from doing the raid and I got most of my fragments from doing the achievement. So depending on where your account is, you may or may not be able to get the same achievements as me. So here are the ones that I did. I own 10 six star weapons. I own 15 three-star weapons and I own 20 weapons so that's allowing me to get 30 fragments right there and I also wanted to point out that you might be able to get some fragments by doing achievements but you're going to need a pretty strong team to knock these out so when it comes to this it really just kind of depends on where you are in your account but personally for me, I'm just going to wait because I'm going to get there pretty soon. Also, you can pick up a blue one in Meoria City. Crew Store. Now, when it comes to your points, the only thing I recommend are getting Relic Shards. And the Relics that I recommend are Space Time Rift, all the way up to level 3, or Omnium Shield. And how you get Crew Points is by doing your daily donations or knocking out your four missions for the week. Support Store. You want to make sure you buy your three joint supply chips for the week. And I also recommend that you try to get this proof of purchase in this Goat Nucleus. But you might be wondering where you can get this extra support points. If you go to join operation and you do support match, it's going to match you up with a team. You knock out that dungeon and you're going to get support points. But one thing I do want to warn you on, which I found out the hard way, make sure you don't really have any vitality left over because what it ended up doing for me, it matched me up with a random team to where they were doing join op eight and I didn't open up any boxes and I got no support points whatsoever. Then we have the point store. Now, I recommend that you just spend all your points on buying the Sparrow Special Gift so that way you can max out all your 1.0 characters. And once you fully maxed out all your 1.0 characters, then you never have to do trainings, Black Market, or see this Island again. But besides that, I recommend that you just explore Vera. I know I was watching Colossus Stream yesterday and they spent probably five hours just exploring all of Miora City. So there is a lot to do in Vera. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my Vera Exploration Guide. But other than that, talk to you guys later.